everyone welcome back to the channel on to another theatre vlog i'm doing it properly today i'm not looking down at the floor i'm off to see dream girls tonight the uk tour of dream girls is in liverpool and it is its, its last um, venue apparently so um yeah uh, i'm finally seeing the show i've been waiting to see it for ages but yeah it's all gonna be good i'm gonna do an evening show on the tuesday so it's its first night in liverpool um, I only I wanted to go on this night because I wanted to see the night that Nicole Rockwell Dennis is only doing certain shows and I wanted to see one of the shows that she was in. So I am going to the Tuesday. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about the storyline, but I know a lot of the songs, so I'm really excited. Yeah, should be good. Um, yeah. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Hello, so I don't know if you can see, but the theatre is behind me there. There, the big tree in the way. About to go in. Um, the show doesn't stop for an hour, but I'm going to program and um, have a look at the merch and things like that. So. I'm back from seeing Dream Girls. Woo! And I um I bought a souvenir brochure for this show. Now I don't need to buy souvenir brochures because it's it's more money and it's 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 just pictures. Like it's just that pretty much all the way through it with a tiny bit of information. But I was looking and the program was five pound fifty and this was eight pounds. I do think that for some shows it is nice to spend a little bit more money. Um, and merch and stuff. Yes. Okay. So anyway, let's talk about the show. Um, Dream Girls. Now it is based on a film. I'm not going to like go too much into the storyline, but it's about a girl group, um, and they face a few issues along the way, and everything like that. It's not like when I say girl group, I don't mean like the Spice Girls. I I think it's set in the '60s, so you know it's it, it's that sort of girl group. But the music in the show is based around that era. Well, now I think this was a stage musical first and then a film actually, because I'm just reading here and it said that it debuted in 1981 on Broadway and the film came out in 2000 and something. So I think this came out after, the movie came out after the show. So, um, there you go. This was the movie is actually an adaption of the show. So in the cast was Nicole Rockwell Dennis, who I think every every theatre fan knows because she's done Dear Evan Hansen. She was Wicked at some point. She wasn't Wicked at some point. She, she was Elphaba at some point in Wicked. She's very very good, and I I have this is the first time I've seen her in something I haven't seen her in any of her other shows, and she I thought she was brilliant, uh, especially in. I am, I'm telling you, which is the final song of Act One, which got a standard ovation. Um, I, I, I think that song's brilliant. It's, it's very belty, and I thought that she did a really great job. And um, I was one of the people that stood up after she sung it because it was just it was just brilliant. L Listen as well. Um, she did amazing in that. I mean, she did amazing in all of her songs, but the the belty ones were just perfect. They were brilliant. Um, and I really want to see her in some more stuff, so I really hope you can do some more tours or I'll get to see her on the West End at some point. Um, she was brilliant, and I can see that she would have been incredible as Elphaba. And I know that Zoe and Dear Evan Hansen is not a very belty role, so I'm not going to compare Elphaba and this to that role because that's quite a chilled out role. She played Effie White, I didn't ever mention that, but that's that's the main roles in the show. Natalie Kasanga. Paige Peddy and Charlene Hector as well, as the other dream girls. Um, there are three, but then they introduce a fourth one um, in the show. So that, that ends up being four 
at the end. Is that a spoiler? I don't know, but I'm keeping it in. But Brandon Lee Sanders was on the cast. He played Jimmy, um, which was an interesting role, let's just say that. I was not expecting some of the things that he did in Act 2. <laughs> let's just say that. <laughs> if you've seen the show, you know exactly what part I'm talking about. Some of my favourite songs in the show were... Listen. Step into the bad side. I was going to say straight from the bad side then. And uh, One Night Only. I do like I'm Telling You, but that's an obvious one. Because I think it's everybody's favourite song. But all of the songs are catchy. Um, all of the songs are brilliant. Even the slow ones stay with you. Um, it, it was just it was just great. Um, and I think my audience was great as well. It was a really good audience. It's the last stop on the tour. Um, so it, it's quite an emotional week for, for the show. Uh, I, I was going to try and go Saturday night, but unfortunately I couldn't make it. I said this. In last in the last video as well, but I'm gonna start doing some film reviews again, and um, next month I want to start getting back into reaction videos because I haven't done one of them for a while. I'm, I'm talking about musicals when I've got these posters behind us, so we can't forget. I do like movies. Film review should actually be the next video you watch um, because I'm going to see the Whitney Houston film. But I'm gonna stop rambling now. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe, turn the notification bell on, follow me on Instagram at Cardstock, the link is under us, underscore 16, and I'll see you all in the next video.